We continue our morning series through the book of Acts. We're in the middle of Acts chapter 7, looking at the speech of Stephen. It's not the longest sermon recorded in the book of Acts, or technically not a sermon, but a defense or a message. Paul, of course, preached well past midnight one evening, so but we don't have that written down. This is the longest written speech in the book of Acts, so we decided to break it up into two. Looked at the first half, basically up uh, to the time of Moses. And we won't read the whole chapter, but we'll begin in verse 17, picking up right about where Moses enters the picture, reading to the, to the end of the speech in verse 53. So again, Acts chapter 7, Steve, speech of Stephen, beginning at verse 17. I remind you as I read that these are the inspired and errant words of the living God. But as the time of the promise drew near, which God had granted to Abraham, the people increased and multiplied in Egypt, until there arose over Egypt another king who did not know Joseph. He dealt shrewdly with our race and forced our fathers to expose their infants so that they would not be kept alive. At this time, Moses was born, and he was beautiful in God's sight. He was brought up for three months in his father's house. When he was exposed, Pharaoh's daughter adopted him and brought him up as her own son. Moses was instructed in all the wisdom of the Egyptians, and he was mighty in his words and deeds. When he was 40 years old, it came into his heart to visit his brothers, the children of Israel. And seeing one of them being wronged, he defended the oppressed man and avenged him by striking down the Egyptian. He supposed that his brothers would understand that God was giving them salvation by his hand, but they did not understand. And on the following day, he appeared to them as they were quarreling and tried to recognize. 